Hi, Mike's carburetor parts. I'm going to show you about uh, adjusting the float on a Holly 2 barrel. This happens to be a 2245. Um, there's several Hollies like this that uh, uh, will be the same. Now, as far as the measurements go, you need to use your spec sheet because it's different for each uh, vehicle. Uh, first of all, the float level, you turn the top upside down so that the float rests on the uh, needle and you measure from the float stop this little tab right here up to the bottom of the float and that's where you get your measurement. And you can see this one's sitting uh, fairly level. That's probably pretty darn close. Now to adjust it, take your float off and the reason I say take it off because if you put any pressure on the needle, the needle has a vitin tip on it, a little rubber tip, and the pressure on it will damage that tip and it will not seal. So to adjust the float level, you bend this little tab right in here, up or down, depending on what you need. Okay? And so we adjust it, put it back in there, check check to check it again. You know, take your time it so you don't Easier said than done, huh? Okay, float drop. Turn it right side up. And this time, you're looking at this bottom edge here. Actually, it's the top of the, yeah, bottom of the float here. And it needs to be level with this edge here and I can see it's not quite level it needs to be go up just maybe that much now I don't think the float drop matters that much I mean you don't have to get it exact here's the main thing is that it drops enough to let the needle come out and then allow fuel to get in and it doesn't drop too much so much that the needles gonna fall out okay that's the main thing but get it real close to level level this with this and that gets your float drop and to adjust that, you bend this tab right here, in or out, depending on what you need. Okay. Never adjust a float by bending the pontoon. It's a good way to break it. Uh, where the metal goes into the uh, plastic or nitrofill, uh, easily gets broken. People do it all the time, so you don't want to adjust it that way. Okay, and that's how you do it. And uh, so that's how you adjust the float on a, this happens to be a 2245, 2210, uh, what, 2209, or several of them, and it, that look close to this one um, will be adjusted the same way. Thank you for watching.